Okay, this is another very quick video showing how to test uh, the air flaps, the vacuum operated air flaps in the car, which are all of them, the center vents, the foot wells, whatever. Um, to start this test, your car should be on and idling, um, not driving down the road. Idling is much better to test all this stuff. I'm sure you could do it driving down the road, but don't. Um, do it idling. Anyway, um, open all your, manually open all you know, your side vents, you know, so slide the little wheels so they're open not closed. Slide the uh, center vents open and the passenger side vent open. So slide all those open um, and then we want to set the, the temperature to 22 or uh, 22 Celsius, 72 Fahrenheit. Room temperature basically push and hold blue and red at the same time and that will automatically do it save you from pushing up and down a million times. So both set at 22, both on auto Turn down. Uh, I'm going to turn this down. You should just, just leave it, let it do what it wants, but I'm going to turn it down so you can hear me over top of it because this fan is going to get very loud. And basically, I'm going to show you how to do this, and then you can read the trouble codes on the bottom and the list of what the, the air flaps are supposed to do and what's supposed to be activated and moving and whatsoever, whatsoever because it's going to get really noisy with the fan air in here and it's going to take forever to describe it all and you don't want to listen to me gab on forever when you can just look at the bottom and see it uh, you'll be able to print out the bottom and, and see that a lot better uh, anyway that'll be in the description so basically what you're going to do now is push rest and the recirculated air and the rest push and hold both those until the display changes you'll see it change to that Again, I'm going to turn this down so you can hear me over top of the fan. Now there's going to be a number here which is the test number and that's again going to be in the bottom of the description. It'll show the test number and then there's going to be a low and a high value for each one of the tests. And it'll show on again in the description. It's going to show where which vents should be open and what temperature the air should be on low and high and on what number is going to be telling you which vents are being tested. Zero is all vents, like every single vent. On low, on zero, I think, let me check my little note here. Uh, where did I put it? Zero is uh, on low, nothing should be open, so there should be no air blowing through, so it's going to sound like everything's blocked off, which it does. And if you put it to high, it's going to be loud and sound like everything blowing which it does and they're all blowing. So anyway, uh, whatever, when, while you're doing this, don't adjust the fan speed. I'm doing that again just so you can hear me over top of it because it goes to max fan speed and it's really loud. Um, so anyway, you'll just cycle through. Number one is going to be the uh, center outlets. Uh, number two is going to be, again, center outlets uh, for da -da 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 another one. Anyway. Uh, number three is going to be left center outlet, um, so the left one up here. Number four is going to be the right center outlet, and there's a again there's a low, a low and a high reading on all of them, and you'll see that all in the bottom. So that's how to how to basically test it, and uh, when you're done, just basically hit uh, rest again, and it'll go back to zero and or back to the regular climate control panel, and you'll be all ready to go. Um, anyway, check the bottom. That'll be all of the test results that uh, everything you're going to need to know on the results you get. This is basically, I'm just telling you how to set up the climate control in order to do the tests and the results will be printed down there. Thanks for watching.